Hey, today we are in the Whistler Bike Park. Behind me is the famous uh, Rock Garden of Schleyer and I'm gonna show you the different lines and explain you how to uh, make them smooth. So Schleyer is one of the main trails of the Whistler Bike Park. It's a double black uh, trail. It's named after a professional freerider, Richie Schley. Schleyer starts next to Beeline, just on the right. Uh, you come down the first downhill, you have a first little jump into the trees, a left hand berm uh, with a little double. Uh, you carry some more speed on the flat, a first drop. After the first drop, you got a nice uh, left hand corner to catch you, a right hand corner, a nice compression, and a little jump over a bridge. You come to a flatter section, and then another rock face that you can gap. A uh, little right hand corner, then it gets really tight onto the trees and really bumpy and then you come to uh, that famous rock garden. When you're on Schleyer, you exit that little forest, you come to a merge, there is actually jaw right and rider's right, and on your left, the rock garden of Schleyer, you control your speed, you slow down, and you get onto that bridge that gets you onto that famous uh, rock face. So once you're on your bridge, I believe the easiest line will be right after the bridge to take uh, a slight left. You control your speed and there is a little uh, one foot step that you have to absorb slowly. So just be aware of the compression and then that sets you up for the rest of the line, which I believe is the easiest one. You can really see your line, which is like really convenient with this one. And it's uh, basically a double rock face. So you got a nice flat section to slow down and control your speed and you get two options, left or right. Left is definitely a little bit easier, but you have to make an extra corner. The right is gonna be a bit more straight and you're gonna carry more speed towards the exit, you skip a corner basically. The only issue is that there is a rock that can either catch a pedal or a rear there, so you want to be aware of that. It's a bit of camber, so if it's wet, if it's slippery, if it's middle of the summer and there's like a bunch of dust on the rock face, you want to be careful with your braking. Really sticky, you don't really need to brake, so you can just let go the bike and then focus on your exit after all. Second option, instead of hooking a left after the bridge, you stay on your right and you basically gonna stay on that ridge on the rock face. You want to be careful with your front wheel, uh, not to get too much brake on that so you don't lose the front just on that little of camber. Stay as far right as you can on the rock face so you can set up to do a left corner after that little bump. Once you've made your corner onto the rock face, you got two options, uh, rider's left or rider's right. Um, I believe rider left is a little bit easier because the rock face is actually smoother, uh, it's less bumpy. The right hand side is a bit chunky, so it could be a little bit more technical. If you end up choosing a rider's right line, you want to be aware the rock face is a little bit off camber, so that makes the braking a bit more technical. And that little compression right in front of me makes it a bit tricky because at the same time you take the compression, you have to corner right. So you want to anticipate that, you want to look ahead and you want to make sure that your arms are strong because your fork might dive a little bit and if it dives while you're turning, it makes it easier to flip over the bar. So now we are coming to our third line, which is actually the main line, what most people ride. Same idea, you come onto that bridge and same as the second line, you come and you stay a little bit right uh, you can gap if you feel comfortable instead of just rolling, just because you have more time to break afterwards. And you're gonna take a left hand corner to set up for the rest of the line. You set up uh, with your left hand corner, you come to that crack, which is a good visual point in order to know where to go. I advise you to start uh, by the rider's right, just because that sets you up nicely for after. If you want to go rider's left, it is actually a better line in order to go fast. Uh, just because the corner makes a bank which is gonna support a little bit better your tire so you can actually go faster. The only issue with uh, rider's left is that you have to commit a little bit more because once you have camber you can't really slow down. Um, so if you choose the left line make sure you go fast enough so you you know you can hold your balance onto the rock and then carry a good speed towards the finish of the rock face. If you go a little bit too fast you may want to slow down for the next uh, little drop so you may want to use that compression and that little man-made uh, rock garden in order to really keep your bike on the ground and slow down as much as you can before that next little drop. One of the main feature of that line is actually that drop behind me, it's about two to three foot. Um, the best line if you go slow and if you don't want to drop, if you just want to roll, uh, will be rider's left, which is right there. If you actually go faster, 
rider's right is a better line uh, because that sets you up better for the next corner and you can definitely go faster. You can technically uh, roll it, but I advise you to go fast enough so you can drop it, which I believe will be safer. So there is that big rock literally just where you will land your front wheel so you want to be very careful make sure to go either to the left if you roll and if you drop make sure to go to the right just because it's sticking enough that once your fork is gonna compress it can like literally stop you and throw you over the bar one of the advantages if you're trying to race or if you're trying to go fast is that when you take that little drop and you stick to your right uh, that gives you a better line and a better exit for the rest of the trail as you can see behind me, you got that bank on the right hand side so you can really use it to get some support for your bike and set up perfectly for the next corner which is a tight right hand corner. So some people as well choose to go on the right hand side of that tree. I believe it's actually much slower, it's not anything easier so to me there is not really a point on uh, talking about this line just because that doesn't really bring anything. If you're comfortable to ride that, you may as well ride the other lines that are like smoother and faster. The first line is actually my favorite line. It's where I feel the most comfortable when I want to go fast. Same idea, you come onto the bridge. You can technically uh, ride on, on that little ridge, but the best thing really, if you're comfortable doing the rest, would be to actually jump. So you jump from the bridge, land around here, and then you can set up pretty much on a straight line for the rest of the line. This line is pretty straightforward. Basically, you can land a little bit sideways and then you just do pretty much a straight line and you can use the angle of the rock which is right there as a pointer towards the rest of the line. You've done your first drop, when you come into your second drop you can really see the landing which is nice, it's a little bit of camber but because you don't have to break it doesn't really matter, you just want to be super precise. The landing is about one bike length so you don't want to overshot it because there is a, a big hole behind so you want to be super precise, maybe drop your front wheel first and then once you land it's really straightforward. Just make sure to look ahead because there is a tree uh, onto your left and you want to make sure you are on the right of the tree. And now let's talk uh, about the pro line, I guess. Take off is right here, landing is right there. And it's about 12 feet long, 6 feet high, and it's a different uh, it's a different start. So let's check it. Instead of going for the bridge, you have to make a left-hand corner before. You basically take off right there where the rock face starts. And you have to make your way just next to the bridge, onto the left of the bridge, so you can set up straight uh, for the takeoff. Now there is some you know, paved rock, so it sounds like you can just uh, ride it. I remember when I first did it, I was jumping from this rock right there to right there. So it was like a, maybe a six foot gap. So you have to jump and like set up the bike perfectly. So where you land onto that off camber rock, you don't have to touch your brake and you just have to focus on getting straight to the landing. So on this line really, there's no, no margin for error. So you really want to set up absolutely uh, perfectly. So really the key point in order to ride that successfully is to be able to line up everything. So you line up the first jump you land a little bit sideways on that uh, off-camber rock face and you point straight to this takeoff right here which is onto the crack of the rock and straight to the landing. And if you can line up everything, the only thing you have to worry about is your speed and how composed you are on the takeoff of this jump. Behind me is the landing, as you can see, same idea, you have to be precise, it's off-camber, it's not too long of a rock face and the main issue I would say is that rock uh, which is sticking out so you want to make sure that you've lined up everything perfectly before. So you're gonna be on, like in between those two rocks. Make sure you don't case it. Um, if you case it, it's not the end of the world. Like, you know, if your bike is well set up, you, you'll get away with it. When you land, you don't want to stress about anything. You don't want to be hard on the brake because it's off camber. Everything should line up perfectly for after. Thank you for watching, that was uh, some of the lines you can ride on the Sherora Garden. I hope you enjoyed the video, if there is any lines I missed, or you know, if you want me to do similar videos somewhere else, either in the bike park or outside the bike park, let me know in the comment below. 
and uh, yeah otherwise i see you on the trails or on youtube thank you as a bonus i'm gonna ride the end of share so let's go mm -hmm.